Now, we are going to see few set of interesting questions and we will solve together what will be the answers for these type of questions. So, are you all ready? Shall we begin? Okay. So, here is your next question. Okay. Now, see the figure which I am drawing and then we will find out what are the answers for these questions. Okay. So, here goes your question. Okay, children. So, can you find this? Can you tell me what is the shape? Yes, it is a cylinder. So, now your question is you have to identify what is the shape drawn on the board. Is it a cylinder or a cone or a triangle? or none of these. So, what shape is this? How many sides it has got? It has got two straight lines and you have two curved faces, right? So, see here this is face 1, this is face 2 and then you have two straight lines over here. So, this is an example of a cylinder. Very good. So, option A will be my right answer. Shall we do the next question? So, here is your next question. Now, I am going to draw a triangle and in this triangle, I will be drawing few circles. So, your question is, you need to tell me how many circles are there in this diagram? Okay. So, are you all ready to count along with me? Okay. So, your options are eleven. Option B is fifteen. Option C is thirteen, and option D is twenty. So, shall we count the number of circles which is given on the picture? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, how many circles are over there? It is option B. 15. Got it? Shall we move to the next question? So, here is your next question. Now, this is the next figure which I am going to draw for you. What shape is this? Good. It is a rectangle. Now, the diagram is still not over. So, your first question is how many rectangles are given here? And your options are A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, and D 5. So, shall we count the number of rectangles given in this picture? Yes. So, first is this rectangle that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is rectangle 1, then 1, 2, 3, 4. This is rectangle 2 and the total of this picture which is rectangle number 3. Are you clear or do you want me to separate it again and show? See here, the first picture of this first rectangle, then the second picture of this, the second rectangle and the total of all combining the both, that is the third rectangle. So, how many rectangles are there? 
it is option B which is number 3. Got it? So, your next question is seeing the same picture you have to tell me how many triangles are there? Triangles are there in this picture. Okay? And your options are A, 2, B, 3, C, 4 and D, 5. So, shall we count how many triangles are given here? So, this is my first triangle. Yes? This is my second triangle. This is my third triangle. This is my fourth triangle. And the combination of this and this will be my fifth triangle. So, how many triangles are there in this picture? Is it option A, B, C or D? Good. The option is D which is 5 triangles. Are you clear? So, now I am going to give you a new picture and here we are going to find out what is the next for us. Okay. So, shall we go? Now, here comes your picture. Now, what shape is this children? It is a rectangle. Yes. And what shape am I drawing now? This is a triangle. Very good. So, now your question isn't related to a rectangle or a triangle. Your question is how many straight lines are there in this picture? Okay? And your options are A5, B6, C7 and D8. So, shall we count the number of pictures? The number of straight lines involved in this picture? So, this is the first line which is drawn towards the bottom. Okay? This is the second line. This is the third line and this is the fourth line. Then comes the fifth, sixth and seventh. Do you want me to repeat again? So, I will just mention the alphabets for you to understand it better. Okay? So, okay? So, I am just Naming the lines with the alphabets so that you understand it better. So, A, B is my first line. A, D is my second line. D, C is my third line. B, C is my fourth line. A, E is the fifth line. B, E is the sixth line. And E, F is the seventh line. So, what is the right option? It is option C. 7. There are 7 straight lines involved in this diagram. Are you clear children? Good. So, shall we move with the next question? Here comes your question. So, now the next question is you need to identify the shape of a cone in this picture. Okay, so option A, option B, option C, and 
option D. Okay, so you have to identify which is the cone from the given slot of pictures. Is it A, B, C or D? Is it option D? No, what shape is this? This is a shape of a cube. What shape is this? Yes, this is the shape of a sphere. Where do you see a sphere? Can you give me an example of sphere? Great, it is a ball. Anything which is round in shape. What shape is this? This is a cylinder. And what shape is this? Yes, you got it correct. So, option A is the right answer which is the cone. Okay? So, shall we move ahead with the next question? Here comes your next question. What shape is this? It is a shape of a cloud or a tree, whatever we say. Okay? So, now... Your question is, you have to tell me how many curved lines are there. Okay? And your options are A5, B6, C7 and D And I uh, will do one thing. I will just give you one more option or uh, rather I will just change the option. Um, C I will give as 8 and D I will give as none of these. So can we count the number of curved lines? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, this is 9 and this is 10. Okay, so how many curved lines are there? Can you see the option 10 here? No. So what is my right answer? Right answer is option D which is none of these. Okay, had I have given only this part, option C would be the right one. But since I have drawn a tree and tree is also drawn with a curved line. So that is why option D is my right answer. Clear? Shall we proceed with the next one? Okay. So, here is your next question. So, my next question is, I am going to draw a shape again. Okay. And it is a mixture of a cone and a cylinder. Okay. Your first question is, how many cones are there? Option A, 1. Option B, 2. Option C, 3. And option D, 4. So, can you tell me how many cones are there? One is on the top. And 1 is at the bottom. So, how many are there? 1 and 2. So, my right answer is option B which is 2. Okay. The second part of the question says, how many cylinders are there? And my options are 1, option B 2, option C is 3 and option D is 4. So, how many cylinders can you find here? It is just the 1 which is in the middle. So, option A 1 is my right answer. Clear children? 